Blackboard's August release is now live as of August 8, 2024, and will feature several new significant additions and changes. These include a complete overhaul of Ultra documents, as well as major changes to the assignment tool. Additionally, instructors will now have the ability to add multiple rules for release conditions. Improvements have been made in the navigation and flexible grading. Users will have the ability to follow discussions. And instructors will have the ability to allow anonymous form responses. In this release, Blackboard has completely redesigned the Alter Documents feature. Users will have the ability to insert multiple types of content, including text, images, videos, links, and documents, and will have the ability to customize the layout of these documents using rows and columns. Users will have the ability to add content, HTML, upload files, or convert files from a variety of file types into the Ultra document format. When selecting content, users will be presented with the familiar text editor that is found throughout Blackboard. And these boxes can then be resized to fit any combination of these four columns. And they can also be moved with this drag and drop feature. Additional content items can be added. And can be resized and added to this row or can be used to create additional rows of content. The new ultra documents will allow for more freedom and flexibility when creating documents. In a future release, they will have the ability to add comprehension questions. However, that is not currently available. Here's an example of a module overview that could be created in these Ultra documents. CIDO will be hosting a workshop on mastering enhanced Ultra documents on Wednesday, August 21st at 10 a.m., which will go into much greater depth on how to create Ultra documents and use the tools, as well as possible use cases. Blackboard has also completely redesigned the assignment tool. Prior to this release, the assignment tool and the test tool were nearly identical. However, major changes have now been made to the assignment tool. The assignment tool will now present users with the ability to drag and drop files or use the text editor to add content, including directions or links, videos, images, uh, or file attachments. The ability to add questions has been removed and is now only available in the test feature. Students will now be able to access the instructions for an assignment, including uh, attached files, without um, submitting a blank attempt. This will provide more flexibility for instructors in making edits or changes to the document and will provide more transparency to students to be able to see the assignment instructions before beginning their attempt. The screen will also appear slightly different for students. When students open the assignment, they will now have the ability to view instructions instead of start an attempt. So they can view the instructions that have been provided and as long as they don't add content, an attempt has not been started. Instructors will now have the ability to set multiple rules for release conditions. To use this feature, instructors can find an assignment and select release conditions. You will now have the ability to set multiple rules. These can in include date and time, or performance-based criteria, and can be set for all members, specific members, or groups. So once we create one release condition, we can then click Add New Rule, and then create additional release conditions.
next and previous buttons have now been added to improve the flexible grading experience. These buttons have been added at the top as well as below the student submission to allow instructors to more easily move through their grading workflows. The August release also includes the ability for users to follow discussion posts. To do so, users can click on the three dots to the right of the discussion and click follow. To unfollow, follow the same process. This can also be accessed from within the discussion by clicking follow next to the bell here near the top of the screen. And then notifications can be adjusted and customized uh, based on your preferences. And lastly, instructors now have the ability to allow for the submission of anonymous forms. To access this feature, open or create a new form. Select the settings wheel. and scroll down. And now you have the ability to check the box next to anonymous submissions and save. This icon will now appear stating that the submissions for this form are now anonymous. CIDL hosts a number of workshops each month related to teaching and learning. A few of note this month include the Fall Teaching Effectiveness Institute on Empowering Students Through Digital Literacy, which is on Friday, August 16th. This is an in-person uh, workshop. We also host, or will be hosting, the What's New in Blackboard Ultra on Thursday, August 15th, which will cover um, the most important new releases uh, that have occurred in the past six months or so. We will be hosting a workshop on the new Ultra documents on August 21st, as well as a getting started with Ultra workshop on August 22nd. Other workshops are also available and can be found on our website at niu.edu slash slash programs. Today's updates, as well as other updates from this month and previous months can be found on our website using the link listed. Additionally, if you have ideas for potential changes or improvements, please submit them to the Idea Exchange by creating an account and creating a new post at the link listed. If you have questions or need support, you can contact us here at CIDL at CIDL at NIU.edu.